Okay, here is an update video on how we can install PNP PowerShell for SharePoint Online. So basically we will see what is the command or the module that we will use so that we can work with SharePoint Online sites. Now previously I have already recorded a video on that so where I have explained these things like you can install uh, SharePoint PNP PowerShell Online command and then you can work with your SharePoint Online sites. But this is a legacy way of doing that. But the other things like let's say you are working with SharePoint Server 2019, 2016 or 2013 then the corresponding commands are available and we can use that. Uh, so there is no update on the on this on premises version. So only update that is happened on SharePoint online version. Now what is that one? That is the pnp.powershell uh, module that is Microsoft released and we can use that. Uh, to work with uh, SharePoint Online, not only just SharePoint Online, we, we can work with Power Automate or Flow, Microsoft Teams, Planner, all these things we can work with. Now this is basically a, a cross-platform library that Microsoft uh, already released and cross-platform library means we can use the same in Windows, Linux or in Mac OS also. Now previously the SharePoint Online one we can just use to connect with SharePoint Online site but this one we can work with uh, you know other platforms as well in uh, Microsoft 365 or Office 365 and also it is better to have a PowerShell 7 point something whatever uh, the version you can install it and then you should install this and that is also known as PowerShell core. So previously uh, that was supported is uh, was Windows uh, PowerShell 5 point something but now it is better you can install 7 point something so that you will get all the commands like 600 plus commands are there which you can use uh, and also if in your windows you can have both powershell 5.1 or 5 point something that you you can install same time we can also also install the powershell core as well so that means both the things can exist now uh, so what we will do now first is we'll we'll install our powershell core now if i will show you uh, i have a powershell uh, only you can see here this is the powershell if i'll run on, as administrator uh, you can see here let me just run on administrator now you can see here if i'll uh, run the version we can see let me just copy the command ps version table so i'll just run the command you can see here it is showing me 5.1 something so i don't have that um, that uh, 7 uh, powershell 7 or powershell core so for that we will install uh, install that let me just close it so what i'll do is i have you can see here uh, this is you can just google for uh, uh, or you can just search for powershell core or powershell uh, 7 and then you will you will come with this page where I'll put this link also in, in this so that you can get it. So you can see here there are packages available PowerShell 7.2 Win X64. This is for the 64-bit uh, machine and the second one is for the 32-bit machine. I have already downloaded that. So what I'll do here is you can see I have already downloaded this. So I will just double click on that. Then click on next. So this is the folder. Click on next. And you can see uh, if you want to add run with PowerShell 7 context menu for PowerShell files. So that means if when you will do right click and then it will show you open in PowerShell 7 like this. Click on next. So you can see here then it is asking me to install. So you can install it. Just say yes. And once you install you can see here it is taking some time. And then it will install PowerShell 7 in our machine or PowerShell core in our machine. Now you can see here. It is done so I will simply check this box uh, launch PowerShell and click on finish. Now you can see here this is PowerShell 7 that we have now. So once you have installed PowerShell 7 now next thing is let me just go through the commands what we required to install uh, or uh, uh, to work with uh, PNP PowerShell. Now first thing is if you have previously installed SharePoint PNP PowerShell online command that uh, this command. So if you have installed already this command according to Microsoft they are not updating this let me just show you that URL as well. 
so if you'll see this now this is the updated one that we talk, we are talking about pnp.powershell which is having more than 600 command are, uh, commands are there but if you look at this one they're saying that it is uh, it is now legacy and it is not maintained anymore so but these commands are available you can work uh, you, uh, you can work with uh, you know pnp uh, with your sharepoint online site but this is not updated so uh, they are not updating or they are not maintaining this so now going forward you should use this command so for that what we have to do is first thing is we have to uninstall that so this is the command uninstall hyphen module sharepoint pnp powershell online hyphen force hyphen all version so that if any other versions will be there every version will be uninstalled from that uh, uh, system from your system and next thing is you will run install hyphen module pnp.powershell this is the command which will install our uh, pnp.powershell in our system so that we can connect to sharepoint online site next one is register hyphen pnp uh, management shell access we need to access all whatever the uh, you know permission that is required let's say create update delete all this for for our office 365 tenant i'll show you that so we need to run that command and once that command is there then we can connect to uh, sharepoint online by using this and these commands now first what i'll do is i will just copy uh, the install command here so you can see here this is my install module pnp powershell so i'll I'll make sure that I will uh, put all the commands in, 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 in this video so that you can go through those commands or you can download and you, you can uh, copy and you can install that. So you can see here I have put this command. So now what it will do is it will ask me uh, to accept all the modules and uh, then it will install it. So you can see here. So I will simply press capital A here. I'll click on enter. So now it will uh, try to install all our models related to this pnp.powershell uh, in our system. So you can see here it, it is taking some time. So you can see here downloading, uh, you know, there is 22 point some MB is there. So it is downloading, it downloaded and uh, probably it might just finish the installation. So just a second, we'll wait for a couple of seconds on that. You can see it is done now. So once we have this, then you can uh, use this command. So register hyphen PNP management cell access. Now once you once you will click on this, now see what is happening. It is opening and it is telling us to log in. So I will select the account which I want to log in. In this case, I am using TS Info Technologies uh, tenant. So I will simply select this. And then what it will do is it will ask me that I have to accept. So you can see here what are the permissions are required it is showing. So I will simply click on accept. So you can see uh, I have click on accept. So that means now we should be able to uh, connect to our SharePoint site. So for that uh, there are a couple of commands that you can use. So this command if you will uh, if you'll put this command then it will open our browsers where you can your credential will be there else you can put hyphen credential and get credential so it will ask you for the credential like username and password you can select that if you have multi-factor authentication enabled then you can uh, run this command so then you, you will be able to connect it so i'm just taking the first one so you can see here the first one i'm taking i'll click on enter now you can see it is already connected now uh, I will simply run this uh, get hyphen PNP uh, list so you can see so now you can see it is showing me all the list and libraries which are available in this particular site because we are connected to that particular uh, SharePoint site the same way if you want to update then you can run this update hyphen module uh, hyphen name pnp.powershell and uninstall if you want to uninstall it now uninstall hyphen module and then uh, name pnp.powershell so that's how you can uh, update and uh, you know in, uninstall your pnp powershell so this is how we can uh, work with pnp powershell all the commands will be there let me show you another thing also uh, like if you look at this documentation you can see these are actually the documentation where you will get lot of commands that you will see how you can use it now you can see here uh, you know disconnect pnp online uh, there are a lot lot more commands are there it will when you will click on any command uh, let me show you uh, get hyphen pnp list command now 
suppose um, this is you can see here get hyphen pnp list that we uh, just now run it so it is showing us what are the parameters it will take and all these things so first one you can see this is the command that we run it will return all the list from the current web uh, if you want to have a particular list then you can pass the gyd with a parameter as hyphen identity uh, if you want to pass the url you can pass like this also so if you want also if you want to um, do a filter so you can see uh, you can use like this so uh, there are various ways that we can use so this command this documentation link also i'll send it i'll put it uh, so that you can follow all these commands and you will be able to see how we can use all these commands so uh, this, these are very much very important so that you do you don't you don't need to remember the syntax and all you will get directly uh, how we can use it and uh, they are keep on updating this so that uh, you can anytime you can follow this and you will see more commands will be there as well so this is how we can work with uh, pnp powershell and i'll put this code uh, and these details in 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 a text in in this and you can get it in the training module thank you